Hey there, this is Brandon Wilmarth again with More Public Schools, and today we're going to be looking at Google Slides. Now, I'm helping my Northmore Elementary friends out again, so I'm going to be directing this toward elementary level. If you need something a little bit more advanced, uh, look on the YouTube channel and check out Google Slides Advanced. And today, uh, elementary kiddos, you may never have signed in before, so I'm going to show you what Joey Student so this is going to be your first and last name, your username that you use to get onto the computer. And then it's going to be at more students with an S dot com. So take a minute to get your username at more students dot com in the username area, your email address, and then your password. If you've never signed in, uh, your teacher is going to let you know right now what that is. I'm going to go ahead and put my default password in. And then the first time I sign in, I'm going to get this little CAPTCHA guy. So I have to put that same password that your teacher just told you. And then I need to do my best to put in these crooked little letters. And H-O-O-K-E-U-R-R-E, -R -R -E, I hope. I'm never very good at these. OK, and this is what it's going to look like. Um, remember, as soon as you sign in, Chrome is always going to ask you to remember the password, save the password. On our district computers, we want to hit nope. And this is your new account terms and service. So make sure that you read through this and hit I accept and continue to my account. Now this is where you're actually going to choose your own password. So some teachers want you to have a specific setup, but Google just makes sure that you have at least eight characters. So what I want to do is put in my very secure password that I don't tell anyone else and it has at least eight characters that's letters and numbers it doesn't matter if it's all of one or the other uh, just make sure that you change your password to something that you will remember and that you never give to anyone else alright so we are in so we're gonna go ahead and click this X since I'm here showing you what to do in order to get to Google slides you need to click on the little apps button right here and then go to slides now you can also go to Drive and open up and create a slide folder from that as well. So that's what I actually want to show you today because Google Drive is where you're going to essentially save everything. And as we open up our Google Drive, there is going to be a getting started little message right here. Uh, we just hit the little X because you've got me showing you what to do. And if we want to create a new presentation, we just hit New and then we've got Google Docs, Google Sheets, and what we are looking at today, Google Slides. So click on Google Slides. Now we've got a tab open up here for Google Drive and an untitled presentation. Now unlike PowerPoint, we don't necessarily have to save the file. Uh, in fact, one of the very first things that we do is we jump right into what theme do we want. And this is just like the PowerPoint themes. Do you know what? I like this one. This looks fun today. So for my biography, I'm going to choose Steps as a theme. And yeah, that's bright and colorful. Looks familiar. Everything is more or less the same thing as PowerPoint, except, as I said earlier, we don't have to save anything. The only thing that you really do want to do is name it. So I'm going to name this Shakespeare Biography, and then hit OK. And now all changes are saved in Drive. So what does that mean? If I go back over to this tab, then this file is going to update. The next time I look at that, it's going to be updated to Shakespeare biography. Yep, there we go. See, did it automatically. And so just like PowerPoint, I simply click and type. And then I'm going to put by Brandon Wilmarth, just like I did on my PowerPoint. And so it's pretty much the same thing. If I wanted to make this text box uh, a little bit smaller, then I simply go up here. It's in a little bit different spot, but I want to go ahead and change that to 12 point font. So I want that to, oops, I forgot to select it. There we go. I want to make that a little bit smaller, quite a bit smaller, and move that text box over just like I did earlier. And if I wanted to change the font, same thing that I did with PowerPoint, I'm going to go with, mm, yeah, like this right here. If I wanted to now enter in a picture, insert in a picture, uh, there are two places that we can go. 
and right here this little image box or if I wanted to go to insert and then click image. Now you could also do video, word art, but today we're just going to go ahead and include an image. Now the really cool thing about uh, Google Slides is that it doesn't just take image from your computer. So remember whenever we went to uh, my pictures and I had this William Shakespeare picture, I could do that, but I actually want to show you a different way. You could go to search and within this it's going to search Google and it's going to look at stock images and life so if I type in William Shakespeare then I'm going to get a lot of different images that maybe I haven't seen before you know what I, I haven't seen some of these that's kinda of neat that's a fun one so if I select that one then it's going to put that picture in and again it's way too big so what we want to do is just drag the corner and it's gonna keep that picture right where we want and it's a nice colorful picture Okay, so we've got William Shakespeare by Brandon Wilmarth with a pretty fun picture. Now, what if I wanted to do some animation? Well, what I need to do is click on the actual text box, not inside. See where that little blinking line is? If you got that, then you're not going to be able to do animation. So click on the text box, go over to Insert, and then click on Animation. Now there aren't as many animations here in Google Slides as there are in PowerPoint, but if I wanted to make this fade in, or maybe fly in, or you know what, I, I think maybe spin, that could be fun. Let's do spin and see what that looks like. So if I hit play, spin, huh, okay, well that's fun. Now if I wanted to click on something else, then by Brandon Wilmarth, and I wanted to add animation, so I just click that in, and I want that to fade in and I wanted to do it with the previous so whenever Shakespeare starts spinning and then I'm gonna click on the picture and I wanna add that animation so I'm gonna have three animations one for each of my items in my slide and I want that one to let's do fly in and I want that to be a medium pace so we're gonna change this fade in to a slow pace it's gonna take five seconds Whenever I click, it's going to spin William Shakespeare. My name is fading in. It's going to take a full five seconds. And then whenever I click, it's going to bring in Shakespeare. So that's how you do all of the editing for the animations. And remember how we did the new slide in PowerPoint? Well, we do the same thing over here. Click on the plus for a new slide or the drop down if you want to select the type of slide. See how there's some different designs? a blank one, a caption, a title only. Well, I think I like the title in two columns. So this is very similar to what we did in the PowerPoint. So if I do William Shakespeare's, let's separate those two words, there we go. And one of the last things that I wanted to remind you of is that whenever you're adding text or anything, a picture and you change anything, notice right here it's saving and it saves automatically. So you don't have to worry about saving periodically as you're creating this. So if I add another new slide, then it saves and all changes are saved automatically. Remember where they're saved though. They're saved to your Google Drive. So there it is. And one last thing that I think is super cool is that whenever you have a Google slide, I can actually share this with my teachers or I can share this with other friends and I can give them rights to edit or just comment or just to view it and say hey look what I created check this out so I actually want to show you what it looks like so whenever I share this with my teacher or with my friends I just type in their name all you have to do is select the name so Brandon Wilmarth at more schools and I'm giving him rights to edit so whenever I send that this is what it's gonna look like for him so I'm gonna adjust the size of the window here and this is my Google Drive on the left hand side so Joey student just shared a file with me and look at that it came up so I'm gonna click on this remember this is me this is Brandon Wilmarth over here this is my drive and then this is Joey over here notice how it popped up right here there I am so in Joey he can see me and then over here I can see the slides in fact I'm gonna help him because he gave me rights to edit so I'm gonna click on this third slide and I'm going to type in on this third slide fun facts and notice how it's changing over here in Joey's slide so Brandon Wilmarth is typing and it's 
changing on his. So it doesn't matter that I'm on the same computer. This could be somebody in Edmond, Oklahoma, and this could be somebody in Moore. Uh, you don't even have to be in the same room. So some really cool things that you can do with Google Slides that you can't really do with PowerPoint. So that's why I wanted to show you Google Slides today because it allows you to collaborate, uh, share, and it's really easy. So I hope that this helped quite a bit and good luck with your biographies and have fun with Google Slides.